Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Angie and I am back with another video. So guys, this is a highly requested video um, from you guys in person and you guys online. Everyone's been asking me how I do my makeup in my videos, how I do my everyday makeup, how I just do my makeup, period. And honestly, it's about time that I give you guys a tutorial. As you guys can see in the background, I am in a new apartment and I'm also going to be doing an apartment tour very, very soon for you guys. But for today, I think we're just going to stick with the makeup tutorial. So I had curly hair this morning and I was like, you know, for this tutorial, the exact look that people have been asking me for, I'm going to recreate my hair that I did in the video. Video. I'll probably put it to the side somewhere or just put it somewhere on the screen for you guys to see how it look like so I'm gonna be recreating that and also try to recreate the hair but I think I'm gonna do the hair after the makeup because the hair was naturally curly I blew it out I strained it and everything but I think we'll get to the hair like later on but yeah guys if you want to see how I get my everyday makeup glam then keep on watching so guys I have finally built my I would say like master makeup kit for myself I finally separated my clients makeup and my personal makeup as well so all of this here is all in my shade and everything here is basically for me I've been doing a lot of makeup shopping lately I kind of stopped just because I was going a little bit haywire but um yeah this is just like my favorite products that I use on myself and if you're in my shade I think I'm like a Macau I think that's what's been going around TikTok the Macau girls so yeah if you are in my shade then anything I use basically will work for you okay let's get into it i'm gonna clip my hair to the side and let me bring you guys a little bit closer okay i think this is good you guys can see me close up and personal so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our face and guys when i tell you once i got my hands on this i don't know why but my makeup game just literally changed started using this makeup revolution hyaluronic fix and guys it just gives me like a little bit plumping action to my skin and it's supposed to hydrate and plump and i have super super dry skin so like i need something to wake me up before i put anything else on my face yeah this is dry i'm pretty sure you guys can see that there's a little bit of a glow that's the plumping action that was going on now guys onto primers this is one of my favorite primers it is from elf it is the power grip primer with four percent niacinamide i had the blue one and i really don't know where it went to but then i saw this on tiktok everywhere a little bit heavy with my primer because i want my makeup to last all day long and I really rub it into like the sides of my nose, the sides of my mouth. Anywhere that I notice that my makeup does crease a little bit, I will get there. And especially under my eyes. Going in with is the brow lift from e.l.f. And it is this clear gel. And guys, I had the Anastasia one. I don't know why everyone says it's better than the e.l.f. one. For me, the Anastasia one was just a little bit too oily. I feel like there were some oils in it that didn't work the best with my brows, but this one literally keeps my brows in check all day. I'm going to color correct, and instead of using like something reddish, I'm going to use something that is my skin color. I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation, and guys, I love this as a color corrector, but I hate this as a foundation. So I'm going to grab my foundation brush and take some of it like that. And I'm going to blend it on the places that I know that I need the most coverage. Can you guys see that? Like, it's giving me so much coverage, but I don't feel like I need that much coverage all over my face. So I'm really just going to put it on the places where, you know, I have acne scars. And I just want to cover up, like, blemishes and stuff. So I'm loving the coverage and that's what I'm going for whenever I do use that product. So we're going to go in next with concealer and guys for you to get that look, especially for us chocolate girls, you have to go in with something that has more of like a honey or like a little yellowish undertone to the concealer because I feel like it just gives us more of that glow. Notice when I use something that's more beigey or something that's more neutral undertones, it makes me look a little bit ashy so always look for something with a yellow undertone. Are you, I'm almost out of this and I was literally at the mall today. I should have picked up another one but because I am not applying foundation to everywhere else and this is really what's going to give me my coverage I'm going to be a little bit more generous with this and I'm going to put it in like a v-shape I know we don't do the v-shape anymore but for this step we're going to do that I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and just spray it all over to hydrate the concealer 
one of my favorite products so far. This is NARS bronzer, and guys, when I tell you this is my holy grail when it comes to bronzers, contours, anything using to sculpt my face. I can literally just dip in here and literally just start painting on my face. Look at how that just warms up your skin. Oh my gosh. It's very creamy, so it's not gonna give me that ashy or, you know, dry look, and it just sculpts my face so good and makes my round face look like I have an oval face. And my face is super round. I always start off with putting on the tip of my nose and I just feel like it gives me that kind of blushy look and it just makes me look even more sun-kissed than I already do. I'm gonna go on my brow bone and kind of go in like a curved direction and this is what's really gonna sculpt your face. Now in this step, if it doesn't look perfectly blended, it is completely okay because we're still gonna blend everything together. So we're gonna leave it like that a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys how I lift up my brow bone and lift up my face in general and make it look very, very much snatched. So after doing the brow bronzer on my nose i'm literally just going to flick this upwards with the bronzer this is gonna mimic eyeshadow and make it look like you know i did something when i really didn't also gonna create some depth in my crease and make it look like i'm wearing eyeshadow when i'm not wearing any at all so i'm gonna put some right here i'm gonna put some right here and i think that should be good if we need more we can always go a little more This is how we are looking right now. I know it's a little bit scary, but let's get to blending it now. Okay guys, so before we go in with powder, I'm gonna go in with some liquid blushes from Rare Beauty. The reason why I do use two different shades is because I don't want my cheeks to be too harsh and I want a little bit more definition up there so it just makes sense to use two different colors. I really do love pink blush. I used to be like a only like red type of blush girl, but once I got into the pinks, when I tell you I have not gone back, I have not gone back. The setting powder because it's just like literally the perfect shade for my complexion. I'm gonna go with a powder puff as well, and I'm gonna literally go in with minimal product and I'm just gonna press it in. Now we have our powder on, we're gonna go on to contouring it, guys. I know I've been using contouring a lot, but it's really bronzing. I'm gonna be going in with the Sephora bronze. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply it to everywhere that I put the cream bronzer. when I did the liquid one. I'm gonna apply the pink one on the apples of my cheeks and I'm gonna apply the coral one more on the higher points of my cheeks. So the only thing that I do to my brows is that I conceal it and I really don't want my brows to look too boxy. I'm just going with concealer and I don't fill it in at all. So I'm about to go put on these lashes and I'm gonna be back to finish up the look with you guys. Three setting sprays hyaluronic acid one i used originally charlotte tilbury and i'm also going to be using this one from rare beauty while i'm waiting for that to dry i'm going to go in with my lip liner and it's my favorite one from morphe in the shade trendsetter i'm about to go in with this new lip gloss from juvia's place and then i'm going to put a clear gloss on top I'm gonna use to brighten my under eye is from Charlotte Tilbury. I believe it is her pressed powder, and I'm just gonna use this to brighten up my under eye and make it look really, really flawless. So I just added some body mascara, and the absolute last step in this makeup routine is the highlighter. I'm using the one from House Labs and also the one from Fenty Beauty. So I used House Labs and I put the Fenty on top, and you guys will just see the glow that it gives me. to go curl my hair and then I'm gonna come back so we can see the final absolute final look all right guys so this is the finished look I've done my hair my makeup and everything it's looking so good if you did like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up make sure that you share and comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure that you click the bell notification so that you stay updated with all my new videos and I will catch you guys in the next one bye